Hey guys, welcome to TechPress. I'm Steven, and I'm going to be showing you how to add the G Suit kit into your actual WordPress website. It's going to be really, really a lifesaver if you're working with Gmail, if you're working with Google Analytics, if you're working with different tools that G Side Kit can be offering for us. So this one has an actual uh, Google's official WordPress plugin. This is going to be really, really helpful for your actual website. So we have Search Control, we have Analytics, we have Page Speed Insight, we have AdSense. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can uh, set it up all those elements all those google tools inside our actual wordpress it's going to be really really easy so let's get started the very first thing you want to do is to sign into your actual google account and once you are in here i'm not going to be able to enter the actual plugin section of my g site by google so whether you want to download this directly from the wordpress.org plugin or what you can do is to go directly into your dashboard of wordpress and here you want to locate your actual plugins so as you can see, we are now here into the plugins of the actual WordPress. And here what I want to do is to add a new plugin. This is the part where you wanted to choose whether to choose upload plugin or you can choose the actual G site that we can search here into the plugins already added into WordPress. So here in the search plugin, let's go for G site or only choose Google. In my case, I'm going to just locate Google, for example. Here's the actual keyword. And as you can see, we already have the G Side Kit by Google and Lake Search Control Ads and Speed. So if I click there, uh, I just want to make sure this one is actually made by actual Google. So once I'm aware of that, let's go into the install now. Now it says installing and I can go into install plugins. And as you can see, you can go here, it says Side Kit by Google. We already have this downloaded. So in my case, I want to go into activate. So this one is going to be now activated inside my actual WordPress website. So I can go back into add new just to make sure this one has been activated automatically. So once again, let's go for Google. There we go. And we have the activate button. So this one, once again, is going to be taking us into the dashboard of the plugin. So we can go into go to dashboard and we can now start to set it up things like really, really fast. Once again, it's a really, really easy process. So as you can see, we have now the keep side kit go up to date. Here is our actual traffics. Here have all the elements, all the tools about channels, location, devices, how many people uh, make impressions about our actual traffic of our actual website the clicks, the unique visitors, and in order to see and to track all that information, we need to do a couple of things in order to continue. So if I locate the content, the speed, and the monetization tool, there's actually two things that we needed to add in order to continue, which is, of course, the actual AdSense. So here, if I have the Connect Services AdSense, I want to locate the Connect Now, and this one is going to be taking me now into uh, choose an account in order to continue. In my case, I want to choose a Gmail account that I already have opened. And then what I need to do is to grant the actual as access from SiteKit to our Google account. So it says view your AdSense data. And then later on, just like that, the AdSense is going to be connected like right away. So let's go for add site to AdSense. There we go. So now this is going to be taking me into the Google AdSense. What I need to do is to add my actual website into my Google AdSense in order to track all the conversion information. So I'm going to hit into new site and I'm going to hit now into my new website. So here into my website, let's go here and just to make sure that we already know what is the actual website that we have created here. So uh, what I want to do is to go into the basic development side. Here is my actual website. I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to go back here into Google AdSense and here into save. Now, as you can see, it says connect to your site, select verification method, AdSense code snippet or AdSense TXT snippet. So uh, what I need to do is to, of course, copy this actual element and later on I can paste that into the head section of my actual website. And to do that, I wanted to go back here. Uh, as you wanted to do is to actually go into your actual pages. So let's go for the dashboard. So once I have connected my site here, once I just pay the HTML file into my actual website of WordPress, which I think is going to be really, really easy. So I can go back here. I go and paste my actual block here, or I can go into new blocked and I choose to create a code and I choose this option. And instead of choosing paragraph, I go to custom HTML file. 
so I can paste that and then later on I think I'm actually good to go hit it to published and then I'm gonna hit now into published so that later on once I connect my site I have the request a review so this one is gonna be helping us to review the site to check it complete complies with the AdSense program policies so, so I hit it to request review and then we don't have to do absolutely anything at all so now what I want to do is to hit into the X mark and just make sure that my device now it is getting ready and the ads.text.status is now being approved. So later on, I'm going to click there. I'm going to click into my actual website. I have the ads txt snippet. So I need to go here into copy. And if you don't know how to copy this one, you want to go into learn more about creating an ads txt file. And I have the uh, authorized digital sellers. I have fixed t8 files. I have created an ads for the actual site. So we have now downloaded all these elements and then later on we want to add this into the publisher's site uh, from our actual website. So let's go back here, let's go into the X mark and locate the actual section of my actual WordPress account. So let's go here, let's go back. Now take a look here into the G side kit. We have the setting view. You want to make sure that into the connected service you have the search control console already been uh, active. In my say in my case, it's now connected. So I think it's really really great. The actual analytics is now being connected. All of these elements has now been added automatically since we have already signed in with our Google account. The Google site kit is now automatically because it's going to be done for that automatically. So it's not that hard to add that. Down here we have the page speed inside, so we can visit the dashboard just to make sure that we have visited the dashboard inside. But in our case, we we have already done that. And then later on at the last part, we have the AdSense common part. As you as you can see, it says setup incompleted, continue model setup. So what I want to do is to choose continue model setup, and just to make sure that I actually did the right thing in order to add the site to the AdSense. So let's get into add site to AdSense. I choose my device and as you can see it still is getting ready to show some ads, continue to your site and review your request. So what I just need to do is just to wait a couple of uh, minutes here. Uh, usually here it says take a few days but in some cases can take up to two weeks. Learn more about your site approval. So we just need to wait until we are now going to be approved from the actual WordPress into your Google uh, account in AdSense. With that being said I can go back now into my Google Ads section and here of my Google site kit I can go directly into my dashboard and then later on all the traffic sources are not going to be appearing into my actual website and lastly we have the speed section the speed section is going to be really really helpful to make sure that we can keep track of how fast uh, our page and are of course and get specific recommendations of what we can improve uh, later on for example here what I need to do is to largest contentful pane time it takes for the page to load I need to change the blocking time, how long does people had to wait after the page loaded before they could click something. I need to improve this and here's the improvement of 350 ms, so a little bit uh, more faster. And here into the computer, as you can see everything looks good, but into the actual uh, device I needed to change that, I need to improve that. So in the field and how to improve, reduce and use JavaScript. So. I can use G Side Kit to track all the elements, to track my end side, to make the monetization tools, and much more of that. So, with that being said, guys, I think we are now ready to go. We are now ready to get started with Google Side Kit and our actual website for WordPress. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools about the actual WordPress and all the plugins installed of Google. Thank you so much for watching the video, and hopefully, guys, I will see you next time.